Welcome to the seventh video tutorial. Till this moment, we created two files. In the first one, we detected the eyes, both of them. We detected the blinking and we detected the gaze. If we were looking left, uh, left, uh, center or right. Then we created a second file called virtual keyboard, where we created a virtual keyboard that we had on the screen. Our goal in this video is to link both of these files, or even better, to take the function that we need from virtual keyboard and use it in the first one, so that it will be easier for us and to understand. Uh, let's check both of them and let's see step by step how to progress. So I will shrink my cam this way. So this is the first file. Let's run the first file. Uh, it takes some time, okay. And this is what we have. Uh, I just put the new frame here, change the color for us in, in a way that if I look one side, I cannot look at the screen, but I still can see that there is some red color on the screen, even if I'm not, not looking there. If I look on the other side, I can see a different color. And then we had the second file with the keyboard, which is this, no, 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 which is this one. I run virtual keyboard, and this is the keyboard that we have. First thing, let's go to the main file and we simplify the files so that later we can copy everything that we need from this one. First thing, I'm going to close the functions. I have this, uh, this functionality on PyCharm on my editor so I can close this function so that I don't need to read all of them. I don't have them on, I, I don't, we don't need to see them. We know that get gaze ratio, we gives us the ratio of the eye points so there is no point to read to read it and let's see how else we can simplify this one that's enough now let's go on virtual keyboard and i'm going to copy first thing the keyboard and the key set copy and let's go on main and uh, let's put it just under the predictor. Doesn't make much difference where you put it uh, when it's uh, anyway must be outside the while loop. It's just a matter of organization. So let's say keyboard, keyboard settings. Let's say this way. And then we need letter. Let's copy all this long function letter. Copy and let's put it just after this one and paste. And even this letter, we can close it. We don't need to see it. Once we have this, we can try to call the virtual keyboard in the main file. So we go at the end of the while loop and let's first we do cv2.im show virtual keyboard and then keyboard and in this case we just we will see only the black screen as on the keyboard the black keyboard we are not drawing any keys any letters so let's now draw the letters. Uh, letters. This is just a comment. Now we take the function letter. We can do the same way as we did in the previous video. We copy this one for i in range of 15. This is the function, the code that we use to draw the letters on the keyboard. And I copy this one just below. And make sure it's really important that you follow the, uh, the exact in indentation or indentation, I don't know how to call it exactly. 
and anyway let's run the main loop okay everything is working correctly as supposed to be we have the frame we have the new frame and then we have the keyboard next step right now is we're going to light up the key each time uh, by itself now we have only we're only lighting up the a key and let's do uh, each time a different letter in order so from the first one from the q then w e and so on how can we do that well anyway i need to close this again as my computer stopped working for a moment so i had to restart it again so that's why everything on now it's open anyway so we know that we have when we work with the video we work with the frames so let's first count the frames on the video we have for example mm, video I don't know video number uh, counters let's call it this counters it's just a comment then we have frames equals to zero then each frame we put plus on this counter so it will be frames plus or equals one so if I print it you should know I, I'm not going to print it because you should know that each time there is a new frame this counter is increasing so we can make this way when we want to light up a different letter we need we need each for example 10 frames we can change it so let's also put index letter letter index letter index equals to zero so it will be zero to be the first one it will be the q while letter index is one it will be the w and so on till the 14th one which is the b we have frame zero and letter index zero so we can say this way if frames is equals to 10 then each 10 frames we are going to increase the letter index it will be letter index plus or equals to one once that we make letter index plus or equals to one then we can reset the frames and frames will be equals to zero and it will start counting again frames get to uh, 10 again and we increase again letter index which was one now it's letter index two so each time we show a different letter we light up different letters first the q then the w then the e and so on here we are doing all the counting now let's change the lighting function here we said if the letter index is 5 uh, we can light the number 5 now as we're going to change it, it change it each time we're going to just use this letter index value we put it here and let's now run the script and we will see the result if everything is correct each 10 frames we should light up the next letter in the index the keyboard so first the q w e r t as you can see we are lighting a new letter but all the previous one are not going to switch off when we draw on a new frame all the drawing will be overlapped to the previous one and nothing gets uh, deleted so we need each loop to reset the old frame we so once we create the keyboard we need to have each time an empty keyboard and then we draw everything each time let's do it this way we create first the keyboard then we, we do the same later on or even better we can 
fill all the color of black. Let's do it this way. Just after the frame, we reset our keyboard. Keyboard this way and we make it it's three colors so zero zero and zero this simply means each time let's feel each time let's fill the keyboard with the black color so i run the script again which is going to take some time in my case and you can see that each time a different letter slide up as it's supposed to be. Now let's wait till the end. Z, X, C, V, B, and now should start again from Q, but it doesn't. Now the letter index is increasing. Once we reach 14, which is the last letter, then letter index goes to 15, 16, and there is no letter. In this case, we should just reset the letter index so it will start from Q again. It will start from Q. So let's look. If frame is equals to 10, then we change. We set the frame is equals to zero. If letter index is equals to 15 then letter in letter index is equals to zero also i'm doing one more thing which is to make the size of the frame smaller because now it's it's not going i don't know how to say to say it it's not fluid the video as i don't have uh, a really powerful computer to do both recording my screen and have the video flu going properly so let's let's make the frame smaller so even if you have not so powerful computer for this stuff you can still work okay so i go on frame and let's do cv2 dot resize the frame we don't define any specific size so i say no you would just say 0 0.5 which is half of the size of the image and fy also 0 0.5 so i run again the script and it should run better than it used to run before more fluid if it's a proper word to say this not so much still even if I'm not sure, it looks the same size to me, I don't know why. Yeah, okay, because frame must be equal to cv 2 resize the frame. Now it looks probably a bit better than before, not so much, but still it's okay. And for this video, we are done. We're going to see in the next video uh, later how to select the key while we're blinking. Let's say that we want to press now the W, I close my eyes, nothing happens. That's what we're going to see in the next video. See you.